Now on Coast TV News. Trump trial terminated the breaking news this morning involving the former president's document case. Board of Education and ACLU backlash the policy under review tonight in Milford and the claims being made by detractors. This is Coast TV News Midday. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Pensica and welcome to Coast TV News Midday. Wait, we are working on a heater on this late Monday morning. We're going to take a live look now at Milford and there you can see some of the conditions. They got some blue skies mixed in, maybe a little bit of haze in the background. Our first alert meteorologist, Bob Try, he joins us now with a look at first alert weather. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Del Marva. We got the three H's today, hazy, hot, and humid. And it's already in the low 90s from Seaford over to Millsboro, 91 in Redden, 89 in Milton, even pretty warm along the beaches, 89 in Lewis and Bethany Beach right now at 82 degrees. And look at these dew point temperatures in the 70s. That's telling us there's a lot of moisture in the air. It's that area you can wear. And already feels like temperatures 103 in Seaford, 102 in Redden, 100 in Millsboro, 102 in Milton. So the bottom line is really be careful careful on the heat as we have a heat advisory Sussex County all the way to the coast. This goes until Wednesday morning. Also areas around Salisbury uh, excluding the coast here. You have a heat advisory and for the eastern shore excessive heat warning. The bottom line is it's just really hot and we had some clouds this morning, but it's just sunny and very, very hot going into the afternoon with low to mid 90s inland areas around 95 in Seaford and Millsboro and 80s along the beaches and very hot later on around 95 to 97 away from the coast and 80s and 90s as we go towards the coast and still very hot this evening. Feels like temperatures this afternoon around 102 to 106 and we're stuck in this heat for a couple more days. Then some relief later Wednesday with a cold front, some showers and storms. Much more on the heat and that cold front coming up in a few minutes. We have breaking news this morning. The Florida judge overseeing Donald Trump's classified documents case dismissed the indictment against the former president Monday on the grounds that the appointment and funding of special counsel Jack Smith was illegal. The Justice Department to the special counsel's office and the Trump campaign did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The FBI continuing to learn more about the shooter at Saturday's Donald Trump rally, a rally that turned deadly when a former fire chief who was in attendance was killed and the former president sustaining an injury above his ear from a shot that came ever so close to being deadly as well. This is drone footage of where it all happened. The footage also shows law enforcement vehicles gathered in Bethel Park around the house of Matthew Crooks. He's identified by authorities as the suspect. FBI officials say Crook acted alone in the attack. President Biden spoke with Trump after the shooting, and Trump made his way to Milwaukee last night for the restart of the Republican convention. Now, this morning, President Biden was originally scheduled to leave the Rehoboth Beach area. He cut his weekend along our coast short after the attempt at Trump's rally. In remarks following the shooting, the president called the shooting sick and condemned political violence. But that was only days after he said, quote, it's time to put Trump in a bullseye, end quote. Now, we have an interview tonight. You can watch it on Coast TV. Lester Holt will sit down with President Joe Biden, an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview can watch a preview of it on NBC Nightly News and then the full unedited interview in a primetime special at 9 p.m. Again, that's right here on Coast TV. And after that, NBC News will feature comprehensive decision 2024 coverage and on the ground reporting from Milwaukee's Pfizer Forum all week from the 2024 Republican National Convention. Lester Holden and Savannah Guthrie will anchor the special coverage Monday through Thursday. It starts after that interview at 9.30 p.m. This morning, a 27-year-old man is in critical condition after being shot in the head Sunday night in Milton. According to Delaware State Police, this happened in the area that we are showing you on your screen. This is Cool Spring Road and Fisher Road. And I reached out to Delaware State Police this morning. They're telling me that the victim is in critical condition at an area hospital. This is a developing story. We will provide updates on the Coast TV News app when more information becomes available. Also this morning, Delaware State Police are attempting to gather more information from a Saturday night crash in Del Mar it resulted in the death of a 48-year-old Salisbury man. According to state police, this happened at 9.30 at night on Providence Church Road. The SUV he was driving appears to have not have stopped at a stop sign, and it then hit a Nissan Rogue driven by a 40-year-old Laurel woman. She and three passengers in her SUV sustained minor injuries, and state police say the road there was closed for about three hours. 
Happening tonight, the Milford Board of Education expected to take action on several policies, including one that's been targeted by ACLU Delaware. It's policy 6103. Supporters say it's designed to limit offensive items and material that could be distracting to the educational process. The ACLU says that it infringes on free speech. Meeting is set to take place tonight, 9 p.m. at the Milford High School. A fragment of a World War II era ordinance washed ashore on Assateague Island over the weekend. Staff and visitors waited for officials from the Dover Air Force Base to deal with a fragment on your screen. Watch this. Just there, you can see the officials handling the explosion. This is not the first time this has happened in Assateague. Officials from the island say during the summer of 2022, multiple fragments washed onto the beach. This is all the result of during World War II, the U.S. Navy and U.S. Army Corps used the Maryland portion of Assateague Island as a bombing range. Worcester County Sheriff's Office say they've broken up a large drug trafficking organization. This is after an eight-month-long multi-state drug trafficking investigation. It led to the arrest of five people, Jared Rhodes, Tyrone Burdell, William Miller, Sahmeen Burdell and Tavon Biles. According to police, the group was distributing significant amounts of cocaine, not only in Worcester County, Maryland, but also in Sussex County, Delaware. Police say more than $150,000 worth of cocaine was seized. Also found large quantities of cash and other evidence alleged to be for the distribution of illegal drugs. Happening tonight, there's going to be some closures in Milton. You can see the location of where this will take place right here on your screen. This will be tonight through Friday from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Crews will be working on the project. It's a bridge project at Route 1 and West Route 16. Coming up, increasing authority. Why the Dewey Beach Patrol is asking for more responsibility. Coast TV News Midday returns after this. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, like myself and Tile, to ensure that you have the best product to fit your needs and that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your remodel. I was able to look at everything that I was looking for from my new kitchen, including the backsplash and the countertop and the sinks all in one place. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. The beach, the yard work, road trips. You need a vacation from summer vacation. And all you really want is a good night's sleep in your own bed. But is it comfortable? Find your dream mattress at Outen Brothers Home Furnishings. Memory foam, inner spring, pool top, pillow top, adjustable base. The perfect mattress to fit every body and every budget. With payments as low as $19 a month. That's less than taking the family out for ice cream. <laughs> Mama needs a new mattress. From Outen Brothers. Furnishing Del Marva for over 75 years. Come out on Saturday, July 20th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Shops at Salisbury for the wheels that heal cruise in for a cause. Benefiting Salisbury Police Department's National Night Out. All vehicles and motorcycles are welcome. Enjoy great music, delicious food, and exciting activities like a 50-50 raffle and a silent auction. Backpack donations and other back-to-school items are appreciated to support this wonderful cause. Coast Country Cares, sponsored by Spicer Brothers. You need to lose weight, but you hate lugging out that big blender for a healthy shake. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. Designed like this shake bottle you take to the gym, it has the motor and blades built right into the lid. Bionic Blade quickly creates smooth drinks just like the big blenders. But this is portable, so you can make a shake anywhere. Make pina coladas right by poolside. Even grind coffee beans and make a quick, refreshing iced coffee pick-me-up on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. But wait, order now and get two sipping lids, a second large blender container, plus the sports lid. Yours free. You'll get this entire portable blending system for just $29.99. Call or click now. To order, call 1-800-709-7148 or go to buybionicblade.com. So call 1-800-709-7148 or you can order online at buybionicblade.com. In Dewey Beach, the town could soon give its beach patrol more authority. Currently, the beach patrol will ask a beachgoer to stop activities that pose a danger. It could be something like hitting or kicking objects if they believe it is a problem. While this usually works, the town says there is no legislation to support this if the beachgoer 
does not adhere. So the patrol, they're requesting to update an ordinance that would grant lifeguards the ability to prohibit activities when necessary during on-duty hours. All of this scheduled to be talked about on Friday. A popular educational program from DENREC, it's back. DENREC invites families of all ages to participate in Life in the Bay, the education program where you can learn about fish and other aquatic creatures that live in the Delaware Bay. There will be two program dates, July 31st and August 7th, both occurring at Woodland Beach. Well, how about a great way to head into the baseball all-star break? We're hoping Beach's Zach Geloff had a big weekend against the Phillies at the park. The Oakland Athletic homered on Saturday. Then yesterday, jacked that grand slam in front of family and friends as his A's won two out of three over the Phils. And the summer sizzle is on to kick off the week. Just saw some birds getting the thermals in the warm air out there in Laurel. 90 degrees, you're headed for the mid-90s this afternoon and feeling much hotter with the humidity. And this summer swelter continues through midweek, then storms and a cool down after that. Our, wow, look at that bird, <laughs> UV index today, brought to us by Ocean City. We're looking at a 10, very high, hat, sunglasses, sunscreen, find the shade, use extra caution in the sun and the heat. We're in that very high range, except for Thursday, where we see some showers and storms. Much more on the heat and how long the heat wave sticks around coming up next. The unit that I have was 19 years old, so I knew I was on borrowed time. Well, I called above and beyond, and Sean came out. He looked at the unit, he called into the house. At no time did I ever feel pressured to buy anything, and he also told me about some other great deals that were going on. Free financing, a rebate, and you know, an energy credit. They showed up on time to come put the unit. This is fabulous, it's not this cling clang again. It was so quiet. They're a small company, but they do go above and beyond. Hi, I'm Chase Brockstead. Our law firm has been helping folks in Delaware for over a decade. Patients suffer when nursing facilities put corporate profits ahead of patient safety. Unfortunately, there are many examples of this and it's shameful. Our firm will fight these corporations because we believe in truth, transparency, and accountability. If you or someone you know has been abused or neglected in a nursing home, choose the right team. Bear Mandalas Brockstead and Federico. Right lawyers, right now, dot com. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Legsercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Legsercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. In our coastal communities, every wave has a tail. Coast TV brings these stories home from the smallest shell in Ocean City to the lighthouse in Lewis. What happens here matters. Every moment, every detail tale is a chapter in our shared story. We're your neighbors, your friends, woven into the very sands of our community. Our stories are your stories, reflecting the heart and soul of our coastal life. Coast TV, our community, your news, where every story hits close to home. It's another round of heat for Delmarva. Intense heat. We've been down this road already. We've had a series of heat waves across the region, but this one could be the hottest one of them all. Salisbury right now, 87 degrees. Your dew point 76, making it feel like around 100 degrees in actual temperatures this afternoon with sunshine top out in the mid 90s. So we have a heat advisory basically right through Wednesday for Sussex County and much of Delmarva. Temperatures mid to upper 90s. Feels like temperatures one. 102 to as high as 110 and the core of the heat comes tomorrow or heat index valleys around 105 to 110. Then a cold front moves in later Wednesday that will trigger some showers, maybe some gusty winds and maybe some hail. 
and then that'll be it for the heat wave. But we have a heat advisory. You can see that basically into Wednesday morning for all of Sussex County. This includes the beach areas as well. You're going to be hot there too. I don't think we're going to see much of the sea breeze. We are seeing uh, golf club shores and areas east of Ocean Pines, not in this heat advisory, but points to the west, Salisbury, basically inland areas all under that heat advisory and an excessive heat warning for a good chunk of the eastern shore through Wednesday morning. We're not alone. You see from DC up to Philly, we're looking at excessive heat warnings now. So yeah, we're not alone in the heat department as we're already seeing lower 90s from Seaford, Millsboro, Milton and Milford right now 91, 82 Bethany Beach, 82 in Rehoboth. Dew point temperatures into the low to mid 70s, even upper 70s. So that is that very sticky air that area can wear and already feeling like 104 in Seaford, 105 in Milton and 101 in Millsboro. So take care in this intense heat as we have an offshore wind right along the immediate coast. That's where you're seeing a a little bit of a sea breeze now, which will keep you in the 80s there. Here's noon on Futurecast, but mid 90s inland areas around 96 in Georgetown and Millsboro at 2 o'clock in 80s and 90s along the coast. And look at this by 430 around 96 to 98 degrees inland areas. And even around 7 o'clock, we're in the 90s. You're going to want to take it slow, slow decline through the 80s through the overnight. And by tomorrow morning, we're only bottoming out in the 70s and lower 80s. And then another very hot day on your Tuesday by the afternoon mid to upper 90s. This is going to be our hot day and maybe a little bit of relief along the coast as we see some clouds tomorrow night and then Wednesday a very warm start another hot day. But then as we go into the evening we start to see showers and storms with that next cold front that could bring some heavy rain. It will end the heat wave essentially as we go into Wednesday evening. But today feeling like 102 to 106 and even feeling like 90s along the coast 108 to around 110 is that feels like temperature tomorrow. So you extra caution, drink the water and make sure you check on your friends that don't have air conditioning. Could be as hot as 111 as we go into Wednesday afternoon and then we start to see that relief with that front coming through Wednesday into Thursday morning. Some much needed rain, then it dries out after that and we get some lower humidity. 96 this afternoon, but feeling like triple digits 76 tonight and very hot for your Tuesday. In fact, Tuesday is a first alert day, maybe the hottest day of the year. Paul Davis seven day forecast 95 Wednesday late day storm. Some storms Thursday Thursday, we're into the middle 80s into the weekend. Maybe some showers on Saturday. Thanks, Bob. Coming up, payment on Damon. Data breach. What is being reported about AT&T after last week's security failure? Coast TV News Midday, back in a moment. Researching a new HVAC system or water heater can be like buying a car. Let Chesapeake Home Services take the guesswork out of your homework. Test drive a new system, and if you're not completely satisfied for any reason and we can't fix it, we'll buy it back. Plus, we'll include our bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, 10-year parts, 10-year labor, and a 10-year maintenance plan. To learn more, call us or visit us at ChesapeakeHomeServices.com. Intruders are more likely to target homes with dark zones. Take the bullseye off your house and turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a high-tech security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. During the day, it's disguised as a high-tech security camera. It's completely wireless and installs in just seconds. Powered by by solar panels, no batteries needed. It adjusts a full 360 degrees. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. But wait, we can also include a second one. Just pay a separate fee. Plus, we'll give you free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. To call 1-800-316-1548 or go to buybionic360.com. Show a hard-working woman in your life the appreciation they deserve with Working Woman Wednesdays. It could be your mother, your wife, a co-worker, or any woman you know. Nominate them for a chance to win a special prize pack. Go to WBOC1025.com, fill out a short form, and tell us why they are so special and deserve to be honored. Then join me, Stinson, every Wednesday as I announce that week's winner. Working Woman Wednesdays, only on 1025 WBOC. Here at the Delmarva Sports Network, we know sports is more than a game. It's about your teams in your town coming together to celebrate, bringing sports to life, and creating bonds that last a lifetime. 
At DSN, we're proud to capture that spirit, plus the dedication and passion of your athletes. That's why DSN was awarded Outstanding Year-Round Local Sports Coverage. We're honored to be part of your team's journey. Delmarva Sports Network, local teams, big dreams. There's an update to a story we brought to you on Friday. Bloomberg and Wired, they are reporting AT&T paid a hacker a ransom of about $370,000 to delete the data from a massive data breach. Both publications say they spoke with a hacker who claims to have received the payment. Publications reviewed a video the hacker said they sent to AT&T showing them deleting the data. Nearly all AT&T cell phone customers have been impacted by the breach that was revealed on Friday. Inflation could be fluctuating, which could impact the amount seniors receive for Social Security payments next year. This has to do with the cost of living adjustments. According to the latest estimate from the Senior Citizens League, Social Security recipients can expect payments to increase about 2.6% in 2025. Last year's increased cost of living was 3.2%. Still ahead, teen weight loss worry, the risks that could come to younger people who use weight loss drugs. Stay with us on Coast TV News Midday. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Brian, what's the difference between treated wood and composite decking? Treated wood decking costs less, but requires a lot of maintenance over the years. Composite decking looks like wood, but won't fade, curl, or rot. It's insect resistant, maintenance free, and comes with a lifetime warranty. But if you call Paul Davis now, you can get composite decking for the same price as treated lumber and no payments, no interest for 12 months. Paul Davis can bring the showroom to you as soon as tomorrow. And we'll give you a down to the penny price that day. Call Paul Davis, the restoration and remodeling experts. Positive, focused. Supportive and goal oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can hack your information without you even knowing. Introducing Slimmint, an ultra-thin RFID blocking wallet that keeps your cards and cash protected. Slimmint uses the latest RFID blocking technology to prevent thieves from stealing your info. It's ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. With the auto-locking Slimmint, your cards and money stay securely in place. It has a built-in cash clip and a flexible outer band to fit your additional cards in cash. Call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-613-4296. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-613-4296 now. Weather shapes our lives. At Coast TV, first alert weather means we are always at work, ensuring you have the information you need. We have a strong line that begins to press its way through central portions of Sussex. Because we know how much weather matters to our coastal community. Make sure you take cover from these storms. In sunshine forward. or storms, our promise is to guide, inform, and protect. Weather coverage that prioritizes you. Coast TV first alert weather, your safety, our commitment. Around one in five children and adolescents have obesity in the U.S., according to the CDC. And while the popularity of weight loss drugs continues to skyrocket among adults, Me and Degeda shows us the potential risks and benefits of children and teens using weight loss drugs. It's a major health crisis in the U.S. Studies show the number of children with obesity has tripled over the past four decades. And with more adults turning to weight loss drugs, some medical providers are seeing the same in pediatric patients. The demand is high. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved four weight management medications for use in children 12 and older. Recent studies have shown weight loss drugs and surgical procedures are highly successful treatments for children and they're deemed viable options under guidelines from the American Academy of Pediatrics. But there are risks too, says Dr. Shasta Safter with Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children. I do not want any parent who is considering um, 
uh, uh, this these type of medications for their children to think it's uh, just a, a magic you know, pill or magic drug. Safter says long-term data on the effects of these drugs in children is still being gathered. She says the research we have now shows these medications are safe options, but should only be considered after other methods of treatment have been exhausted. That includes making sure the child stays physically active and modifying their diet, consistently cutting back on processed foods and limiting fast food. This is not only on the shoulders of a child to make these dietary choices. It's what choices the parents are providing to the child. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Whether you see you want to be on or near a body of water, looking good in Lewis right now, 88 degrees, and you're headed into the lower 90s later on. The current heat wave continues through midweek, then cooler as showers and storms move in later in the week. Call the Coast TV First Alert weather phone, 443-880-9100. is the number sponsored by Bairdman, Dallas, Brockstead, and Federico. I'll have your 10-day forecast coming up after the break. Is this the meanest judge in America? Can you shut up and sit down? Next, in Sun Edition. You want to be held to contempt and go to jail? The judge who shocked everyone with his behavior. I asked you a question. What's it like to be on the receiving end? Did you feel like you were being bullied by the judge? Then they lost their engagement ring in the ocean. Will they ever find it? Watch the next in Sun Edition. Today at 5.30 on Coast TV. Attention Delmarva homeowners. Home Smart started with 50. Now we're looking for 30 homes to participate in our first ever bath makeover event and receive test market pricing on a beautiful new walk-in shower. We want to showcase our Kohler Lexstone showers in real bathroom conditions, including Kohler's proprietary crushed stone walls that won't harbor bacteria or soap scum. That's right, homeowners will receive promotional pricing just to determine if our exquisite product lines are the right fit for your bathroom project. 30 homeowners who call now will save. Receive 50% off installation of a new Kohler Luxstone shower. Plus, call during this program for no payments until 2025. Senior and military discounts. Call HomeSmart now with zip code and location to qualify. Call 1-800-616-8289. That's 1-800-616-8289. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable lithium-ion power plant. So fast and so convenient. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Look, you can inflate all four tires on a single charge. It has a built-in smart pressure digital sensor that gauges and automatically automatically stops when the set tire pressure is reached. Easily inflate pool toys, exercise balls, and more. Call or go online now and get the complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for the factory direct price of just $79.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free and we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. To order, call 1-800-771-0865. That's 1-800-771-0865 or go to getbullseyepro.com. This is not what I had in mind when you asked me to carpool. Wheel of Fortune on Coach TV. Next Jeopardy, just one question. What do you think Jeff Goldblum would say about that? He'd just be like, uh huh. <laughs> Monday at 7.30 on Coach TV. Welcome to the party. <laughs> you guys, this is our show. <laughs> Let's do this. Weekdays at noon on Coach TV. Be extra careful in the heat this afternoon. Stay in a cool place if you can and stay hydrated with water. If you are working outside, take frequent breaks as we're topping out in the mid 90s. And even by nine o'clock this evening, we're only into the mid 80s. And boy, with the humidity, we're feeling like 102 to 106 as we head into the afternoon. And even along the coast, you're going to be hot too, feeling like temperatures into the 90s. Paul Davis, 10 day forecast 96 today, and then a first alert day for tomorrow could be the hottest day of the year. 90 98 feeling like 110 and then Wednesday is 95 but then we see storms rolling in with the cold front later Wednesday into Thursday and we're looking at storms and much cooler mid 80s into the weekend maybe a shower chance on Saturday.
Thanks, Bob, and thank you for being with us on Coast TV News Midday. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app, and don't forget to join us later for Coast TV News at 5. Until then, have a great Monday, everybody.